What's up, guys? We're called Pierce the Veil. We're hanging out at the Pure Volume headquarters in Hollywood, California. Boom. And we're here to answer a bunch of fan questions from you guys today. You ready? Yeah, bring it on. on. Bring it on, right. sister. <clears throat> Meg Tonkins asks, have you ever thought to yourself, I wish I wrote that song? If so, what song is it? Ooh. It's raining, man. It's raining, man. It's such, such a good song. Yeah. <sighs> Next level. I play, I I'm play that one at my wedding. I think I gotta awesome. go with uh, <laughs> uh, Whitney Houston. Uh, I want to dance with somebody. That's a great song as well. If anybody plays that at their party, or you know, there's a dance party in going their on office. in their office, in their dance. office, I'll dance. I'll dance. You can't top it. It's like the best. It yeah. just gets everyone going. I think girls just want to have fun. Does pretty good too. Okay. It's a great one. Let's go um, stick with that. I'd go with uh, MJ Thriller. Ooh, Can't Jesus, shoot for the star. Yeah, that's a good one. I gotta oh, step man. my game up. The video's amazing, <laughs> too. <laughs> you wanna, yeah, why not? What do we got here? Well, that's, a fun, that's a fun name. Uh, Alana Michelle Hammond asks, can you see yourselves teaming up with Kellen Quinn for another collaboration? Ooh. That's straight to the point. Um, you never know. You know what? That's, yeah. you know, anything. Anything could happen. happen. Anything could no, happen. If it's not broken, they'll fix it. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah, we'll see. If it works before. Why, why not do it again? You guys want to do some more? We got questions yeah, well, for I'll, I'll ask you guys one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, coming from a Mexican culture, ah uh, yes, my parents have never really been understanding of the music I listen to, and I've always looked down on piercings and oh, and they have always looked down on piercings and tattoos. My question is, how did your parents react when you wanted to be in a band, got your first tattoo, and or piercing? Uh, my parents are really supportive of the music and everything that I was doing. As far as tattoos, my mom just kind of, I don't know, she never really said much about it. She seemed disappointed after the first one, and then after that, she didn't care. <laughs> um, <laughs> mine was pretty much the complete opposite. Um, my mom freaked out when I came home with my first tattoo. And we, we're brothers, and yeah. our mom actually has like five tattoos. So yeah. I don't know what she was. But I mean, about. I was, she has them in like more hidden places, and I was getting them like, you know, I got my first one right here. and So she didn't really like that, but, uh, once she like saw you know the band moving on and you know kids actually paying attention, she finally got it, and they've been super supportive you know the whole way. Dude, my mom flipped. Out. <laughs> my mom, I she she almost hit me. She was so upset. She thought like <laughs> I got my first tattoo. Yeah, she got so mad, and I remember her like get, when I got my second tattoo, she like started to cry, and I felt so bad. I was like, dang it! So I, I just started getting them secretly and like wrapping them up and wearing like long sleeve shirts and stuff. Mm -hmm. And just like you not even like, you're like 22. Yeah, I'm like a grown ass man. I was like, Mom, let me do it. She's like, they're prison tattoos, <laughs> prison. And then I remember like not even like a month ago, she, one of my aunts called me and said, Hey, we're all getting tattoos. And I was like, Mom. She's like, I got a tattoo. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, You freaking hypocriticizer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. Yeah. Okay. Um, Desiree Aponte asks, uh, When do you think your next album will be coming out? Uh, Friday. I'm a solo album coming out. Friday. Lori Beth Moore says, what's the band's favorite song off of our record, Collide with the Sky, and why? Boom. Hmm. I think mine, mine right now has been Hold On Till May, just because it's been really fun to play live, and like, um, kids like, you know, and our fans out there, like, you know, when I see their faces, like, singing the songs, they seem like super They're emotional brilliant. and stuff, and, and it kind of, you know, when they get, when Pumped. they get hyped up and when they get emotional, we get all we feel yeah. the same. So it's like yeah, I, I like know. I like the the I'm low on gas mm -hmm. jacket. We we play it live, but we don't do it like the record. We Vic plays it acoustic, and I think it's like you like it because you don't have to do anything. I don't, I like <laughs> it because I get to chill. But no, it's it's actually like your drink yeah, it's yeah, it's awesome. But no, it, it it's just I don't know. I think the, the difference between the full band and acoustic is like it it's almost like I almost like it better now mm -hmm. playing it just acoustically. So. Yeah. That's, that's my jam I'd right have now. to go with uh, Match Into Water. Um, basically, just because it's straight to the point. I mean, kids know the meaning behind the song, and you know they're going through the, the hard times behind that song, too. So it, it definitely helps them out. Yeah, it's about like overcoming like cancer mm -hmm. and stuff yep. like that. What's up? You're going to do a new question? Yeah, bring it on, sister. See, Hannah Smith wants to know what high school was like for us. Dude, I was like... <laughs> Okay, can I talk about Hunter real quick? Next level. From what I know about Hunter, I didn't know him in high school. <laughs> but he, uh, okay, he was probably the coolest kid. 
he did magic. Watch, watch your words. He did magic. <laughs> not like not magic. Illusions. The gathering. Like illusions. illusions. I was a lo illusionist. Okay. Yes. He was an illusionist. <laughs> he, was, he was a sponsored yo-yo player. Yes. Yeah. He was sponsored by what? Like Duncan Omega or, or yeah. Omega. 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 It's one of those kids that could do like two yo-yos. So. <laughs> He did yo-yos and magic. Real ladies Coolest man. <laughs> Real ladies man. <laughs> what do you got? You got uh, you wore poopy shells. I had I, I had some poopy shells. I had bleached color. blonde Liberty Spikes and wore plaid Weird. pants and Me and Mike looked, looked a lot different. Than all each the other. jocks wanted to fight me every day, but you had they lost. <laughs> <laughs> they lost that battle in the end. Show me your guns. There you go. Ooh, Ooh. Baby. Yeah. yeah. It was a crazy stuff in high school. I was just shy and quiet. I'm coming hot right now. Olivia. Chairs. Wow, is that, is that a real last name? Get we'll like eat. full action we'll, these chairs right now. We'll eat your face. Olivia, we'll eat your face off is what her name is. Okay. Uh, Mike, what was your worst birthday present? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had a bad birthday present. Oh, come on. There's got to be some. You want me to tell you mine? Because I got a good one. Well, I don't, I don't know. My past like five birthdays have been on tour. Mm -hmm. And a lot has just been driving through <clears throat> the Midwest, just happy birthday! <laughs> happy birthday now, now it's your shift. Dude, Dude, one. You, know that, you know that shot Casey always buys you? The three wise men? Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. a bad birthday. That's me, the worst me and, my, me and my drum tech, <clears throat> every birthday, his birthday, my birthday, we get each other a three wise men shot. And it's Jim, Jack, and Jose oh. mixed in one shot. And it's probably the worst thing you could do to someone. Well. That's why I dread my Aww. birthday. Dude, one, 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 well, not Christmas, uh, one birthday, my grandma, who was like super Mexican, got me a Ricky Martin like knockoff <laughs> shirt, and it was Ricky Martin's face, and it said, live in the Vida Loca. Oh and she was just like, mijo, porque you live a crazy life. And I was just like, grandma, you're the, Thanks, the best. Yeah, she, she killed I it. Remember it. Dude, Everyone, I all my family like laughed, and she thought it was like, I got him a great gift. And I'm just like, man. Dude, I remember it. I, this isn't like a birthday, this is Christmas. I don't know if you remember when we were kids. Um, mom and dad got you like these little toy drumsticks. Oh yeah. They like made noise. They're supposed to make oh, noise yeah. when you hit them like cool, cool, cool. <laughs> And like I was like, trying to open the package for him and I accidentally cut the cords that made noise. <laughs> <laughs> I so I just that. ruined, ruined his whole Christmas <laughs> present. I was oh, like, no. Man.